Hi, my name is Abby Martin, and I'm the creator of new media projects, including a website called MediaRoots.org. And I'm here interviewing Oriana Saportas about the KPFA elections coming up and how they serve KPFA. Hi, Oriana. Hi, Abby. And I'm Oriana. And uh, I'm a uh, media activist and also a board member actually here at BCM. So, and I'm going to be interviewing Abby after Abby's on with my interview about Media Roots. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. <laughs> so, Oriana, tell me a little bit about KPFA. How does it, how did it begin and okay. what does it do for the community? Yes, well, KPFA started back in 1945 by this um, pacifist called Lewis Hill. And it was a, a response to the, to the Cold War in some way, to the mm. secrecy of the, of, of the Cold War. And, um, and then uh, he got this FM license, and, um, and, um, and then uh, he, they were giving out actually radio, actual radios to people that subscribed to KPFA at the time wow. so that they can actually listen to KPFA. Um, and then it was really KPFA is the first, was the first community... Uh, independent community supported radio station. Wow, membership supported radio station in ever. the Bay Area, ever in the in the world actually. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, seriously. That's amazing. First, yeah, the whole concept of the, the fact that members pay for wow. their their organization was uh, KPFA introduced this model with this Lewis Hill pacifist. That's um, incredible. Person, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so how do the elections mm -hmm. fit into KPFA and, and, you know, how do they benefit the, the station and the community? So, yes, yeah, so KPFA has, a, as a nonprofit, you know, part of Pacifica, the Pacifica Network, it has a, an elected board. And, and it came out of the, in 1999, um, probably a lot of people remember this, there was a lot of protests outside of KPFA here mm -hmm. in Berkeley um, because it, was, it used to be an, appoint, an appointed board. Okay, was not elected, and that board, it seems like they wanted to take KPFA to the commercial route. It was getting to that point, uh -huh. and uh, and then that's why people started like ten thousand people were out on the streets in nineteen ninety nine, like for for a week or something, or more than that, uh, and then um, and they they didn't let that happen. Um, so that's why KPFA didn't go uh, commercial really, and uh, and then that's from there from then is how the they in, in implemented, they fired the, the manager at the time and then the, the board that was appointed, they, they got rid of that board and they implemented this whole elected board um, um, concept, uh, method, I should say, and that's how they call it a, a democratic experiment. And, um, and that's how it came about, you know, having an elected board. That's incredible. Um, yes. So the community's really helped keep that alive. For sure, the community yeah. Community aspect, wow. If it wasn't for the community standing up and you know fighting for f to keep KPFA independent, then it, w it would not have been so. And so, what does the what does the board do, and how does it serve the community so right now as it stands? Right. So the board pretty much is the governing body of the of any of the organization, mm -hmm. and they pretty much set the policy that would guide the station, the mission of the station. At the moment, so the board is elected. There's uh, 24 people who serve on the board, nine people, 12 out of which 18 are, are listeners, and then six are staff from KPFA mm -hmm. that get elected to be on the board. Um, and, and so that's, that's how it works right now. And again, it's people elect the, the board. Um, so and you were saying earlier, um, you know, there, there are a couple of factions that are, that are actually active members on the board mm -hmm. um, and you have kind of battling ideologies within within the board. Could you speak a little more about that? Yeah, so there's there's various factions. There's like three main factions. Uh, one called Concerned Listeners, the other Independence for Community Radio, and the other one Voices for Justice. Um, the, the main opposites are Concerned Listeners versus Independence for Community Radio. And uh, Concerned Listeners, they want to see KPFA, they believe more in pro professionalism. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, and, and, and they're mostly interested about doing like intellectual, academic, uh, you know, the, the type of shows that you see a lot right now on KPFA, interviews, uh, you know, letters to Washington and things like that, which are great shows, um, but, but they're not looking into uh, more like bringing more of the community 
to KPFA to do more uh, participatory journalism and, and things like that. So um, what I feel is like the two main differences of the board of those two slates is that uh, the concerned listeners who support a more, more professionalism uh, are more into the needs of an individual person, okay? <coughs> and then the independence for community radio are more for the needs of the community, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, but what I think is that both can work together because I'm an individual and I mean, we're all individuals as well as we're part of communities. And for me, a community is a any, any, um, yeah, community is like any, anything that has to do with the movement, you know, for social change. That would, that's what for me is community. So, um, so, so I think they can definitely work together. It's just about, I mean, for me, really, the slates could, should be like a, like a committee on the board, you know, uh, they could become part of a committee because we can uh, serve the needs of the individual as well as serve the needs of, of the community. Mm -hmm. Both can really come together. So, um, so I mean, that's something I guess they, they have to talk about uh, at these board meetings, but, uh, but that's, that's something that brings the, the board apart, you know, that, and, um, and makes it difficult uh, to, for, the for the board to really govern to really set good policies for KPFA sure. when there's this all contention sure. uh, going on. So, um, but uh, but yes, that's that. Those are the main differences, you know, community versus the individual, professionalism versus citizen journalism, participatory journalism. So the board should, you know, these two slates that you're you're speaking of should really just integrate each other's ideology in, right? into that and and really um, become one right try to, to work really together. be effective right exactly because you know if you see programming as a as, a, as layers not as a as a rectangle you know and grids mm -hmm. and you know the the bigger layer will be like global news and the national news will be another layer which which could be created more by you know uh yeah what they believe in professionals or you know professional journalists could do could report on those mm -hmm. things uh but then there's a local aspect of the news, you know, and then that's how I see it, Oriana, me, you know, um, <laughs> this is no, this is my theory. And then there's the, uh, the small inner circle, which is nonprofits, the movement, you know, what the communities are doing, which I think that's where citizen journalism can come in really to, 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 to fill in for those, those layers of local news and nonprofits and, and what, what's happening here. I mean, there's a lot going on here in the mm -hmm. Bay Area. So there needs to be more of that, and um, and it will it will you know it will create for um, for really good news. And then you're going to talk a little bit more about citizen journalism, and uh, we can discuss more. Yeah. Uh, 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 the concept of citizen journalism when I when I talk to you, but but really you know I think for concerned listeners they see this is what I think. I mean I I don't want to put words in their mouth. You know it's what I think. Uh, but uh, they are more for giving information, right, giving information. And I think for, for Independence for Community Radio, it's more about engaging people, not just like throwing information to people, but like engaging people as part of the process of creating media. Right. You know, which is, uh, which is different from just like telling people what's going on, just giving them the information. But, uh, Maintaining a balance. Right. Maintaining a balance, right. So the elections are coming up? So the elections are coming up, and um, it's important that people go to the website if you want to get involved. If you're a member of KPFA, you can vote by going to pacificaelections2010.org, and that's the website that you should go to, pacificaelections2010.org. Mm 